Nick Saban yesterday is a control freak, and I'm not anti-control freak. Um, there's a reason uh, Steve Jobs was a control freak, because he was smarter than his engineers, so he should control the company. A lot of times, control freaks, not all the time, sometimes, a lot of times, control freaks want control. Nick Saban is better than his assistants, so he wants to control practice, games, press conferences, and the program. So I'm not anti-control freak. I think control freak gets a bad rap. I think if we called them control mavens, that guy's a control maven. You'd be like, I'd like to control things. M Bill Gates, control freak? No, control maven. That's what I said about Stephen A. Smith. If you call him a character, whoa, that is a shot fired across the bow. If you say, he's entertaining. Well, it's television. You want to be entertaining. In this instance, Saban's a control freak. And yesterday... This is why he's a good college coach. Yesterday, he blew up at one of the things he can't control. Here's Nick Saban mad at the Tuscaloosa press. Well, I say the same thing as when you all buried us last week, all right, and all that, that it really doesn't matter what you think, all right? It really doesn't matter what you say. And I'm hoping that nobody on our team is playing for you. I hope they're playing for each other and their team and what they want to accomplish and not what you think. Because right? that's not certainly what I'm doing. And it's not going to be for you. The fans, yes. Because if it was up to you, we're, we're, we're six foot under already. <laughs> we're dead and buried and gone. Gone. Now think about who Nick Saban has ranted about since he's been at Alabama. The guy who wrote the book about him that he couldn't control Angry at the NFL that put out grades for players before bowl games that he couldn't control. The people at the NCAA who are allowing, allowing faster play that he can't control. And the media that he mostly can't control. But Saban believes, as a control freak, and because he's the highest paid guy in the state, certainly as a, as a university official, that by banging on the fans... Banging on the media, fans will respond, and it will give him more control over the media. Clearly, they bother him. Clearly, he's agitated. Clearly, it's something he thought about before he spoke at the podium. Nick wants to control the media, and he could never do it in the NFL, and that's why college is a better place for him. When he was in Miami, you dealt with four aggressive local TV sports departments, three aggressive sports talk radio stations, the Miami Herald, the Sun Sentinel, and the South Florida Times. You're not going to be able to control Dallas, Chicago, Miami, Los Angeles. You can't control those medias. I mean, God, New York's got the Times, the Daily News, New Jersey Paper Newsday, the Post, two sports talkers, six TV stations with sports departments. You can't control. So Nick Saban doesn't work in the NFL because he is a control freak and it drives him crazy. Don't kid yourself. When you listen to his tenor, he is really upset and really agitated because, and what he's trying to do with this is to gain control over the media by calling them out. The fans are on his side. The fans intimidate the local small-town media, and he can gain control over the media. Not sure whether it's going to work or not. But, I mean, Bobby Knight was the great example. Bobby Knight would have bombed in NBA basketball. He was great in Bloomington because he could control the media. That's why militias are always located in the woods. You have a leader and his 12 loser followers, and he can literally tell them what to do or they won't eat. That's why militias would never work in Los Angeles. Do this or you don't eat. There's a pizza joint right across the street. I think I'm going to leave the militia. The militias, part of what it makes a militia so powerful is we're out here alone in the woods by ourselves. There's only so much food and I control it. I mean, that's why small towns, you can just dominate stuff. Like if you go to a tiny Tuscaloosa, there's three people in that town that make anything even remotely close remotely close to Nick Saban. He controls the city. In New York City, Donald Trump isn't even the number one real estate guy. Forget the richest guy. He's not even the number one richest real estate guy. He's not. So, you know, Bobby Knight's a brilliant guy and Nick Saban's a brilliant guy, but those guys are built for college.